doesn't like the beach. Whether you're on the East Coast, West Coast, even in the Midwest, eventually you're gonna make your way to the beach. What do we like about the beach? The salt air, the sound of the waves, and of course, what's on the shore. We're all hunched over looking for things. What do we expect to find? Some of you bring down your metal detectors hoping to find gold. For me, I find gold in the seashells. Over the past 10 minutes, I walked the beach and I found shells. I brought them up here away from the water line, made a nice little arrangement here on the sand. No, you will not find these shells all grouped together like this. That's your job. You are the artist, remember. So you gather up those shells, you lay them out before you on the sand, you get your camera on tripod, and we're going to have some fun with this. For starters, we're going to shoot pattern. Just a picture of shells. With my 35 to 70, I got a nice composition here, edge to edge, top to bottom. It is a classic, who cares, exposure. That means it doesn't matter what aperture I use, everything's at the same focus distance. So F11 it is. And now that I'm at F11, I adjust my shutter speed until a 1 3 20th of a second says, yes, go ahead, take this picture. So I do. Now, are we done? Not on your life. A couple of things I want to point out to you. When shooting pattern, it is critical that you fill the frame, edge to edge, top to bottom. Pattern is kind of like the church choir. Everybody shows up, everybody sings the same song. When you don't fill that frame, edge to edge, top to bottom, as we can see in this next example, notice the upper left top and side edge. It looks like a few of the choir members didn't show up. And without all that choir, the tune that they're singing just doesn't sound the same. Well, now that we've got our first shot, which is a low angle side lit shot, the sun's about an hour and a half from going down, we're gonna fill in those shadows. I got my trusty five in one reflector here from of course, who else? My good friends at Adorama. And with the sun coming this way, we have shadows that fall this way. I'm gonna fill those shadows in a little bit with my reflector and take the photograph again. And with the addition of this fill light, my exposure now says F11 were good, but you have to be at a 500th of a second. So I take the other one at a 500th. Notice in comparison, let's go back. Look at that first photograph I took and now look at the second. Not only are the shadows not as intense, but the picture is also much warmer. Why is that? Because I'm using the gold side, warm side of my reflector. It does have a silver side, but the silver side for today's purposes is a little too cold for light. I want a warmer light to come in. And finally, with the help of my cameraman and my reflector, he's gonna come in here and also with the reflector, we're gonna fill in all of this sunlight with shadow. So now in the absence of that wonderful sunlight, we have nothing but open shade in effect. No more shadows, no more warm light, but let's still take it anyway. Now of course, without the sunlight, my exposure has changed dramatically. I'm still shooting this at F11, but the shutter speed now says, go ahead and take this picture at a 60th of a second. Okay, I do. There it is. The choice is yours. You want the picture without fill light? Picture number one. You prefer the picture with the gold reflector fill light? Picture number two. Or perhaps you're not in a sunny mood and the picture without any light kind of fits your mood. Fine and dandy. Three choices. Which one ultimately lands on the bathroom wall is up to you. So come on down to the beach. There's a lot of stuff to gather up on shore and make and do some wonderful photographs. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting.